Welcome to understanding Nepal's national parks and wildlife reserves. In this video, we will be exploring the diverse landscapes and rich biodiversity of Nepal's national parks and wildlife reserves. Join us as we take a journey through Nepal's stunning natural beauty and learn about the importance of protecting its unique wildlife. Nepal is a land of breathtaking beauty with its majestic Himalayan peaks, rolling hills, and lush green forests. But beneath its stunning scenery lies a rich and diverse array of wildlife, from tigers and elephants to rhinoceroses and red pandas. In order to protect these precious species, Nepal has established a number of national parks and wildlife reserves, each with its own unique features and challenges. Our journey begins in Chitwan National Park, located in the subtropical Tarai lowlands, is one of Nepal's most popular tourist destinations. It covers an area of 932 square kilometers and is home to a diverse range of wildlife, including tigers, rhinoceroses, and sloth bears. But perhaps the most iconic resident of Chitwan is the one-horned Indian rhinoceros, which has made a remarkable comeback. Thanks to conservation efforts. At one point, the one-horned Indian rhinoceros was on the brink of extinction due to poaching and habitat loss. But in recent years, conservation efforts have helped to increase their population in Chitwan National Park. Today, there are over 600 rhinoceroses in the park, making it one of the most important habitats for this endangered species. To protect the rhinoceros and other wildlife, Chitwan National Park has implemented strict anti-poaching measures and community-based conservation programs. These efforts have helped to reduce poaching and promote coexistence between humans and wildlife. In addition, the park offers guided tours and activities that promote sustainable tourism and raise awareness about conservation efforts. Visitors to Chitwan National Park can go on a jungle safari, where they can spot tigers, rhinoceroses, elephants, and other wildlife in their natural habitat. There are also opportunities for bird watching, canoeing, and cultural tours that showcase the local Tharu culture. After exploring Chitwan National Park, our journey takes us north to Badia National Park, another of Nepal's premier wildlife destinations. Covering an area of 968 square kilometers, Badia is located in the western Terai and is home to a variety of wildlife, including tigers, elephants, and the rare Bengal florican. Badia National Park is also unique in that it is relatively untouched by mass tourism. This allows visitors to experience the park's natural beauty and wildlife in a more authentic and intimate way. One of the park's main attractions is its guided jungle safaris, which take visitors through the park's dense forests and grasslands, providing opportunities to spot a variety of wildlife. In addition to its wildlife, Badia National Park is also home to several ethnic communities, including the Tharu people. The Tharu people have lived in harmony with the park's wildlife for generations and have developed a deep knowledge of the area's flora and fauna. Visitors can learn about Tharu culture and traditions through cultural tours and homestays, which provide an immersive and authentic experience of local life. Badia National Park also has a strong focus on community-based conservation, working closely with local communities to promote conservation efforts and sustainable tourism. By supporting these efforts, visitors can help to preserve the park's natural heritage while also supporting the livelihoods of local communities. Continuing our journey north, we arrive at the breathtaking Langtang National Park. Located in the central Himalayas, Langtang is a region of towering peaks, tranquil valleys, and ancient monasteries. Covering an area of 1,710 square kilometers, the park is home to a variety of wildlife, including snow leopards, Himalayan black bears, and musk deer. One of the main attractions of Langtang National Park is its stunning scenery, with towering peaks like Langtang Lirung, Dung Chempo, and Dorje Latpa providing a dramatic backdrop to the park's tranquil valleys and alpine forests. 
The park is also home to several ancient monasteries, including the Tianjin Gongpa, which provides a unique insight into the region's rich cultural heritage. Langtang National Park is also a popular destination for trekkers and mountaineers, offering some of the most spectacular views in the Himalayas. The park has several well-established trekking routes, ranging from gentle hikes through the lower valleys to challenging treks that take you up close to some of the region's highest peaks. In addition to trekking and mountaineering, Langtang National Park also offers opportunities for bird watching, wildlife photography, and cultural tours. Visitors can explore traditional Tamang and Sherpa villages, learn about local customs and traditions, and immerse themselves in the rich cultural heritage of the region. As we continue our journey through Nepal's national parks and wildlife reserves, we arrive at Koshi Tapu Wildlife Reserve, a wetland paradise located on the banks of the Koshi River in eastern Nepal. Covering an area of 175 square kilometers, Koshi Tapu is a heaven for bird watchers, with over 400 species of birds recorded in the reserve. The reserve is home to several endangered species, including the Bengal florican and the Great Indian Bustard, as well as a variety of other avian species like the black necked stork, herons, and egrets. Visitors to Koshi Tapu can explore the reserve on foot or by boat, taking in the stunning scenery and observing the diverse range of bird life that calls the reserve home. Koshi Tapu Wildlife Reserve is not just a paradise for bird watchers, but also a sanctuary for a variety of aquatic species. The reserve is home to the rare Gangetic River Dolphin, as well as several species of turtles, fish, and other aquatic creatures. Visitors can take boat rides along the river, spotting dolphins and other aquatic creatures in their natural habitat. The reserve also offers opportunities for cultural tours, as it is located near several indigenous communities like the Thanu people. Visitors can learn about the traditional way of life of these communities and witness their unique cultural traditions and practices. Our final destination on our journey through Nepal's national parks and wildlife reserves is the Annapurna Conservation Area, a region of incredible natural beauty and cultural significance. Covering an area of 7,629 square kilometers, Annapurna is home to a variety of wildlife, including the elusive snow leopard, Himalayan tehen, and the colorful Himalayan monal. The conservation area is also a vital habitat for several indigenous communities, including the Gurung people, who have lived in harmony with the park's wildlife for generations. Visitors can learn about the unique culture and traditions of the Gurung people, including their traditional clothing, dance, and music. Annapurna Conservation Area is a popular destination for trekkers and mountaineers, offering some of the most breathtaking views in the Himalayas. The area is home to several peaks, including the towering Annapurna Massif, which includes Annapurna I, the 10th highest mountain in the world. Aside from its stunning natural beauty, Annapurna Conservation Area is also home to several historic and cultural sites. One of the most famous is the ancient town of Manan, a trading center on the old salt route between Tibet and India. Visitors can explore the town's narrow streets, visit ancient monasteries and temples, and learn about the history and culture of the region. Nepal's national parks and wildlife reserves are not only vital for conserving wildlife but also serve as a source of livelihood for many local communities. By promoting sustainable tourism, these parks generate revenue for the local economy while also raising awareness about conservation efforts. One of the major challenges facing Nepal's national parks and wildlife reserves is poaching, which remains a serious threat to endangered species such as tigers and rhinoceroses. To combat this, Nepal has implemented strict anti-poaching measures and community-based conservation programs. These efforts have helped to reduce poaching and promote coexistence between humans and wildlife. Another important aspect of conservation is education. Through community outreach and environmental education programs, Nepal is working to raise awareness about the importance of protecting its natural heritage. 
by promoting environmental literacy and empowering local communities nepal is helping to create a sustainable future for both people and wildlife if you are planning a trip to nepal visiting its national parks and wildlife reserves is a must do activity there are plenty of guided tours and activities available from jungle safaris to bird watching to trekking in the himalayas by supporting sustainable tourism you can help promote conservation efforts while also experiencing the natural wonders of nepal but even if you can't travel to nepal there are still ways you can support conservation efforts many organizations work to protect nepal's wildlife and natural heritage and by supporting these organizations you can help make a difference whether through donations voluntary or advocacy there are many ways to support conservation efforts in nepal and beyond remember our planet's natural heritage is a precious resource that must be protected for future generations by learning about and supporting conservation efforts we can help ensure a sustainable future for both people and wildlife Thank you for joining us on Natural Nepal on our journey through Nepal's national parks and wildlife reserves and we hope to see you again soon for more adventures in the natural world. Until then namaste.